Thanks, Castle. That, that's, I was, uh, you're welcome. So, where are we? Ryan and Esposito were digging into Tanya Wellington. Hmm. What about Duke Jones? His neighbor confirmed his romantic evening? He... So did a couple other neighbors who complained about the noise. So it looks like Duke Jones alibis out. What she said. Can we talk for a second? Sure. She took my coffee, Castle. Just coffee? Then what's next? My soul? Everything I do, she does. Even when I'm thinking, I can feel her in my head like some kind of a brain-eating parasite from one of her movies. She's a dedicated actress. She just wants to do a good job. Hey, no update on what the 250K was for, but I think we found that bad client that Duke Jones mentioned. It's Tanya's husband, Bill Wellington. Turns out, Tanya's wife number three. Bill divorced the other two just before their prenups expired, leaving them without a dime. And get this, he was about to do the same to Tanya. He filed for a divorce two months ago. So that's why Stacy became more selective with her clients. She knew Tanya would be left with nothing. Not exactly nothing. The Wellington's prenup has an infidelity clause, which Bill violated. He owes Tanya a hundred million bucks for cheating on her. She even has the boudoir shots to prove it. You have the photographs? From where? Her divorce file. Pretty salacious, too. Can I see? No. Castle, we're looking into a murder, not dirty photos. Or maybe we can do both. Look familiar. That's Chloe, Duke Jones's assistant. That 250 grand? That was a payment to Stacy to break up Tanya's prenup. So Stacy hired Duke in order to get photographic evidence. Mm -hmm. And Duke's assistant Chloe here was the bait. And then they honey trapped Bill Wellington to break up the prenup, costing him a hundred million dollars. Man, if I were him, I'd be out for blood. Let's bring him in. You have copies of that file? Oh, I copy everything. <laughs> 